Hello there guys and welcome back to the second part of the Rogue Friday vlog. Uh, this time it is the haul video where I'll be showing off what I bought yesterday at the Disney Store and Toys R Us. So we'll get into this now. So we'll start with Disney Store Sunderland and while I was there I got one of these promotional bags where you can have Rebellion on one side, we have Stills of Ginner, so Chirrut and we, Cassie Nandor amongst others. And then on the rear side you have you have Director Krennic, Death Troopers and Stormtroopers, but no sign of Vader. Actually no, you do have Vader, he's, he's up there in the top corner actually, you can see him there on the bag. So that's that. So start with the figures that I got from there, I got two of the Diecast Elite Series figures. Uh, the first one is uh, Jin Erso, I was on the reflection of the bridge to get in the way there. There we go. Well there we go, we got Jin Erso there who has the same stand as before and as you can see the Elite Series is now a blue shiny line instead of the original red. With of course the same thing as the Force Awakens one. The only, the only difference in the packaging is the change of colour and the name of the character mainly. And the other one I brought, bought from Disney Store Sutherland is K2SO who is the droid being played by Alan Tudyk. You saw, I think he's in a motion capture like how they did for Gollum in Lord of the Rings. So he, I think he's like standing on the set, saying all the lines, but then they switch him out with this when they do it. Exa exactly the same as Gollum. So, yeah, so that's K2SO in the Elite Series. I also visited the Disney store in the Metro Centre when I was over at Toys R Us. So I did m make another pick up when I was there. Because I, I went in to take a peek but then just got carried away. And then I bought Chirrut Inwi, who is the character being played by Donnie Yen. He is also a die cast, so again, that's all of them. So you get his sort of crossbow with him. So that's the main Disney Store haul. There's one other thing I got from the Disney Store as well, because in Sunderland, I was one of the first 50 to buy some Rogue One merchandise. So I was given these, which are Rogue One character cards. Which basically just have, just take the rubber band off, and they're just stills with all the characters as Baze Malbus and Chirrut Inwi and Jin Erso and there's K2SO as well. So there's, se there's several amongst here. There's one one missing character, yeah, Stormtrooper as well. So they, they were quite a good promotional little offer trying to get people to rush in to buy it to be the first, but and luckily I was one of them. So now I'll move to the next part of the haul. Uh, this was Toys R Us. Move that back there. We've got one of these big Toys R Us bags. So I was there. I bought. I'll start with this. Bought, this is the only thing I've got in figure I've got so far, and that is Jin Erso as well. It's a character I'm probably most looking forward to seeing actually, because really because of reasons really. So that's Jin Erso. You got the Death Trooper, which replaces Kylo Ren. A sort of sergeant version of Jin Erso, so she's got the hat with goggles on with all the bulletproof bullet armour so that'll come out of the pack and be on the shelf soon and I also bought a bunch of pop vinyls and I'll start once again with Jin Erso again this is the sergeant version as well like the die cast figure uh, and there is there is a Tie Fighter pilot version available as well. That's in a pack at the minute at the, uh, with the Disney Store, which also includes uh, Vader, Orson Krennic, and a couple of others. Because Vader is available in the line, because he is right there next to Director Krennic on the characters. So that's a good addition. The other ones I got were Cassian Andor. Who is played by Diego Luna in the movie? He's the captain, so he's obviously in a higher rank, but still quite an important character. So it's the same again, just with Cassian Andor there. So there's the, there's the pop vinyl. So say it's like like most pop vinyls, it's bobble heads in the Star Wars line. So you got all the same bios as before with Cassian Andor. So that's that one. And the final one from the pop vinyls is the Death Trooper. I think this one's going to be popular because it looks like such an awesome character. I do want to get, I think I did see it available on the Diecast line, so 
I'll be going back into the store hopefully on Tuesday because there's a student raid in the Bridges Centre so I'm probably going to go to that. It's the Imperial Death Troop but there's actually two versions of this available. This is the version just holding the gun normally with two hands. I don't know if you can see that well. There we go. The other version as shown at the end of here next to the lower gin it has the blast it in one hand standing up uh, that which is an exclusive so probably one I'll keep packaged because I've got two of those a bit, a bit of a bit off the top but there we go get those down because these two these two are exclusive so I'll start with like just show them off so like C3PO shiny found that on HMV so I can't hold of that and the other is Luke Skywalker with severed hand which was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive so that stayed in the pack, pack as well most of mine do come out of the packaging anyway, so the ones I've got here probably will. Yeah, so that was my haul for the Rogue One for, from, from Rogue Friday. Uh, before I sign off, there's just there's two shout-outs I want to give to two absolutely awesome people. Uh, really, if it wasn't for those two, I probably wouldn't have ended up doing this kind of vlog. The first is this guy I've been following him on YouTube for about seven years now. Yeah, seven years. Uh, He's a great Star Wars guy, Sith Lord 229 Definitely shout I want to give to him. He's, he's really good reviewer. He did a live stream yesterday with the other person I want to give a shout out to as well. Uh, I definitely recommend you go and follow his stuff because he has pretty much everything Star Wars wise that he does reviews of. He's He said he wasn't a, much of a pop vinyl collector, but he gets like Lego, Hasbro figures, these, these Elite fi Series figures and things like that. So. Definitely go and give him a watch. And the other one I'm giving a shout out to is Danny Least 1000. He's one of those that seems to be trying to make more videos, but he rarely ever gets any views on his content. So I'm giving him a shout out too. Definitely go go and check both those out because they are both extremely good reviewers. They had a live stream yesterday with Rogue Friday. And that's all available in the Facebook thing and their Facebook in Sith Lord 29's Facebook feed. So definitely go and check out. Go and like give give. Sith Lord 2 and I like on Facebook, I'm not sure whether Daniel Least 1000 has a, has a page on there and also be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter pages as well and please be sure to do it. so I'll see you next time guys.